All right, so I just got this new Xbox 360 controller in the mail because I left my other one somewhere and I can't get it. So it's really, I think it's the best way, controller for Interstate 76 for driving games. I like to have the throttle, brake, and they're both variable, which helps a lot in your control. Then you have your steering. I put my steering here. Then you can have like handbrake, you know, nitrous oxide booster there. And, uh, you know, start, I, I do start my engine or headlights and start engine like up and down sometimes. And then left and right for changing gears, left and right. Click to dri switch from reverse to drive. But I left my controller down at my grandmother's, so I've been using this Logitech. And this doesn't have the variable trigger. So instead, I set it up as uh, accelerate, brake, steer. And that works really good. I mean, good. But I like this better. So. Why does it look so terrible? Oh yeah, that's better. Open camera is such a nice program. Sorry I have to video the screen, but Interstate 76 and like controller setups and stuff, it's hard uh, sometimes to use video capture. It doesn't really work that well. Let's open up Nitro.bat. I just want to show... Convoy, this is Stampy. I just want to show you how I have... Oh, I can't see anything now. I want to show you how I have my Logitech controller bound. Um, let's see here, control configuration. So you can see accelerate is joystick rudder. And once you click it for accelerate or brake, it does it for both of them because it's kind of one thing because it's, it's either up or down with the stick. So it's just the same axis to it, I guess. And then steer left and steer right, I have set to joystick left and joystick right. And so that gives me steering with the left stick and gas and brake with the right stick. Um, and then emergency brake, I have as button six, which I guess that's my R1. And uh, yeah, the rest of them you can just sort of set to whatever you want. The important thing is getting the gas and brake to be, you know, variable analog controls because with the keyboard, it's just on or off. And you have a lot, like a steering especially with the keyboard, when you use the keyboard to steer, when you press a key, he slowly starts turning, but with the joystick, you can go full steering immediately, and it's a huge, huge advantage in playing. So I can show you real quick. I'm just driving around with this controller, and then I'm gonna try to set up the 360 controller. give it a little bit of gas, I can give it a little bit of steering, or I can give it a lot of steering really quick. It really gives you great control. So let's see here. And this install went really easy this time for people having trouble installing this game. See, look, I can steer the wheel just a little bit if I want to, or I can suddenly steer it a lot. And you, with the keyboard, you can't do that. With the keyboard, it's always a slow, smooth turn. And so you really have so much more control once you get analog uh, control set up. So, see, so can I shoot my guns? I don't know if I have guns set up. I usually just race. So now, even though that's good, I want to set up the Xbox 360 controller because that's I like it better. I think you have I think it's even better because with the gas and brake as the triggers and the steering for the joystick, it just I don't know. It's easier for me to drive better. And a lot of people that I play with use a joystick, like a flight control joystick. And I think that the controller gives you an advantage over those people because basically that's like playing with just one joystick for gas, brake, and steering. And that's terrible because like there are times when you'd be steering and gassing and braking and they'd interfere with each other, obviously. So now let's see if we can set up the Xbox 360 controller. And by the way, installing the game was super pretty straightforward and easy this time. I did a fresh install of Windows 7 because my last one, my last Interstate 76 stopped working no matter what I did, no matter how many times I reinstalled it because my old Windows is all 
it's like such an old installation and you know who knows why so I did a fresh windows install just made a new partition install in interstate 76 from good old games what I use is the good old games copy of interstate 76 we install that and then um, get the nitro patch 3 from interstate 76.com download section take the nitro patch 3 just take the nitro.exe file out of it and replay it and put that in your interstate 76 directory replace the nitro.exe with the one from the patch and then all you have to do is get uh, DG voodoo right here DG voodoo 2 um, DG voodoo 2 underscore 62 underscore 1 and you run that to set up your hardware uh, you can set your resolution you can I added a custom resolution uh, 1440 by 1080 that gives you native full resolution on a 1080 screen and maintains the correct aspect ratio um, you don't have to do all that stuff but if you just install the GOG version and then the patch exe the nitro patch 3 exe file the game will run great but it'll just be it'll be hardware accelerated and it'll run awesome it just won't be high resolution the DG Voodoo is what gives you high resolution on top of the hardware acceleration and perfect running game so really it's not that hard though it's like a three-step process so now um, I'm gonna unplug Logitech controller plug in the Xbox Bit of a tight. I don't know if this is real because I don't know. It came from China. There we go. Echo. It feels too light to be like a really good controller. It's not lighting up. Okay, let's see if we have. Sometimes the game crashes if you have the controller configuration set up for the old controller. So it looks for buttons that aren't there anymore. <clears throat> Let's try throttle control. I think that might be the old Logitech control though. It might not be even detecting the 360. I'll have to check. Oh my god, it works. No way. I cannot believe it's working on the first try. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so good. No way. Yes. Oh my god, brakes and everything. Oh my god. Guys. I'll have to check if I have the uh, Xbox 360 control configurator running in the background get it to because I normally had to do that to get it to work oh my god this is awesome yeah this is way better just it's a lot nicer holding the trigger down for the throttle than pushing a joystick up all the time it's just more comfortable because like you can just grip the throttle all the time in your natural grip of your hand whereas with the joystick it's like you're always pushing up and forward and it's, like, it gets tiring because you're usually going full throttle you know a lot of the time so most of the time. Man, this is awesome. Yeah, I went to eBay and bought the cheapest legitimate, so-called legitimate Xbox 360 controller I could find, which is about $30. And when it came, it was from, it was like Chinese packaging. It said, I can show it to you. It says official Xbox 360 Microsoft on the package but also a bunch of Chinese stuff. Like, it looks pretty official. Um, it's got all the shiny, like, Microsoft stickers and all that stuff. And, I mean, it's working. So, that's all that matters, I guess. And it feels fine. It feels maybe, like, a little light, but maybe I'm not, I don't remember. I mean, maybe I had an original that was heavier, but... Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit into the 
Interstate 76 world, how to keep it going, how to get it going good, how to use a controller. We play every Tuesday, Tuesday night at about 10 o'clock Eastern time. Oh, here's the program for the high resolution DG Voodoo version 2.62.1. Um, so I'm going to show you, oh yeah, interstate76.com. This will show you the number of players in the game currently, the number of games in the past 24 hours. Um, to join, you have to add the server in the game. The server is play.interstate76.com, which it says right here. Uh, now you go to downloads, Nitro Pack Patch 3. That's where you get the exe file. Or uh, Patch 4 maybe. That one might work too, but you just get one of those exe files. I think P Patch 4, I forgot there was some newer one than 3. Yeah, probably grab the Patch 4 exe, put it in your good old games installation and the game will run perfect on Windows 7 maybe even Windows 10. So, hope to see you guys online, get those controllers hooked up, because it's way better than a keyboard. I've still got to do a controller playthrough of the game again, because I've only ever played through it with the keyboard, and it'll be probably a lot more fun, the controller, so. The only issue is there's actually more controls than there are buttons to bind. So that's a bit of an issue. So yeah, I've got to carefully think about where to put my weapons, controls, because most of the controller I use for driving controls, there's really only a few buttons left for weapons, and so you can't have them all individually selectable, as well as the tracking and the cycling and the linking. There's so many things. So I might have to put some things on the keyboard, or I'll have to think about it. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the process of getting the controller set up, because that's a very important part of the game. So hope to see you guys.